guys and gals, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming. It's have you new me on Twitter, The Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Santa Lucia. So y'all, before we get into it, I'm just going to go ahead and tell you I'm an affiliate now of Green Man Gaming. What that means is that there's going to be a link in the description of each video. You click on that link, you go to their site, you get nice discounts on all the latest and greatest games, and I get commission for every y'all buy using that link. And also, my lovely girlfriend L is an artist and she's taking commissions and the... The, 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 the links to her uh, to her FA and her Twitter are going to be in the video description below, so if y'all are looking to get some art and help maybe support my girlfriend and I, uh, feel free. Feel free to throw money at her. She's a very talented artist. But anyway, let's go ahead and jump right back in, shall we? Alarm Chan, you are up, and let's go. Okay. What a dumb A. Eh? I can't say that yet. Roll my eyes and continue the trek. I approach the sophomore residence halls on my left. Several mentors from last night appear to be assisting late sophomores with moving in. Inger Bear Girl runs past me dragging a rolling luggage bag behind her, and her parents follow suit not long after. Man, what's the rush? It's not like you're late for orientation or anything. Yo, Brian! Oh, man, he looking cute. Brian catches up to... Yo, Ben! Brian catches up to me on the field and slows his running pace. Hey, Brian! I saw you and Karina leaving the cafe earlier. You didn't hear me? You did? I look over at him, raising an eyebrow. Yeah, Diego and I heard they had some killer croissant sandwiches to go and decided to check it out. You were leaving the place when we were in line. Heh. <laughs> Who's Diego, your roommate? What if I said no? What do you mean? Oh! I realize what I'm asking the moment the words leave my mouth. <laughs> Freaking hell, it's only been a day and he's already sleeping around. Dude, that's gross. Relax, he's just one of my teammates. Though, no, though, I do det do I hit detect a hint of jealousy in your voice? I'm not playing your little game, Brian. Have a nice run. What? I shake my head side to side and turn the corner towards the art building. He's such a dumbass. <laughs> oh, I like Brian. I step to the door to my dorm room, barely managing to carry the book bags and my go and my to-go sandwich. I was about to say to-go watch, to-go sandwich. I'm starting to think it's a good idea to never leave the room without my backpack. Each step up the third floor seems to increase my weight by another pound. The muscles in my legs start to burn. I'm really out of shape. I should consider going down to the gym. Before I know it, I'm on the third floor. Several doors are wide open, inviting whoever walks by to come on in. I could never do that. It's putting a lot of trust in your neighbors, whom I haven't even met yet. I walk down the hall, resisting the urge to peer into those rooms. Unsurprisingly, I hear the voices of girls coming from them, which tells me everything I need to know about what's going on. Huh. 312, 313... Hmm? As I approach my room's door, I hear the faint sound of music coming from the other side. Placing the book bags down, I reach into my pocket for the key and unlock the door. I quietly slip inside, curious to find out where the music is coming from. Hello? No response. I grab my book bags and close the door behind me before fully entering the room. No. Long way home. Interesting shirt. Zack sits in front of his computer with headphones on, plucking away at the acoustic guitar in his lap. His foot taps on the floor in rhythm with what he's, uh, what he's playing. Zack? He's clearly in a trance, stuck in his own world. I stare at him transfixed while dropping the book bags on my bed and leaving the sandwich next to my laptop. I don't know a lot about guitars, but what he's playing sounds really complicated. It would be tricky even on a piano. I pull out my chair and angle it in his direction. He still doesn't seem to realize I'm in the room yet, so I let him, so I let him finish. I close my eyes and listen. He suddenly stops and makes a few clicks on his computer. I think I have it down. Holy shit, dude, you're awesome. What? Apparently, I apparently catch him completely by surprise, causing him to drop the instrument onto the hard floor. He stands and turns to me while leaning back against his desk. But Ben, how long have you been in there? I fold my arms and smile. Oh, not long, but long enough to see you're very talented. He seems to shrug off my response and steps away from the computer. And bends over to pick up his guitar, giving me a nice view of his ass behind his tail. Wait, what? Ben, get your head out of the gutter. I swear, Brian must be starting to rub off on me. Aww. He gently rubs his finger on a section of the guitar's face. I angle my seat to get a better look. I think it might have been scratched when it fell from his lap. S Sorry, I didn't mean to... Why did you do that? He cuts me off in a surprisingly harsh tone. I mean, I wasn't trying to. You can't just sneak up on me like that. Hmm. He bites his lower lip and turns away from me, gently placing the guitar next to his desk. Once he's satisfied it isn't going to fall over again, he slumps back into his chair and frowns. I feel a wave of annoyance bubble up from within me, but I try my best to keep it contained. Look, I'm sorry, I... He turns back to his computer and closes the application he was in. 
Ah! The absurdity of the situation finally gets to me, so I stand and kick my bedpost. Stop ignoring me, I'm trying to apologize. He merely glances over his shoulder at me. My annoyance quickly turns to anger. Dude, come on, it's just a guitar. I didn't want to interrupt your playing, so I sat down to listen when I got back a few minutes ago. If I knew you were going to react like this, I would have bumbled into the room like a total prick. I start prancing around the room, trying to channel how I believe Brian would act. Whoa, Zach, are you in here? I hope you're not doing anything nasty, if you know what I'm saying. Oh, I know, maybe next time I'll bring a girl with me. Is that enough of an entrance to get your attention? Oh, come on, man, that's way too much of an overreaction. He opens up a browser on his computer and starts typing in the search bar. God damn it, talk to me, please! He lets out a long sigh and continues what he's doing. I turn away from him and push my chair back into its slot below my desk. You know, I was really looking forward to hanging out with you today. Meet the roommate and all that jazz. He continues to click on things. It's a shame, you weren't here when I woke up, when I, when I woke up, and you weren't here when I came back from lunch. I believe you'd rather shut me out than talk to me, so I'll leave you alone. Hmm. He peers at me again over his shoulder. I... I held up a hand to cut him off. I'm already in the process of preparing my backpack. No, don't bother. I'm just going to let you do your thing. I'll be back later, so don't worry about me. I return the favor, looking at him over my shoulder as I stand next to the door. If you were even going to worry about me in the first place and not just be... If you were even going to worry about me in the first place and not just be happy I'm gone. Ben, forget it. I firmly close the door behind me and start walking for the stairwell. Fucking hell, what just happened? I take a deep breath, trying to let off some steam. I end up walking past all the open doors from earlier. Well, these guys seem to be having a good time together. I managed to ruin the day with, him, with, him, with, with my roommate in five minutes. When I reach the stairs, I take a seat on the first step and lean my side against the wall. It just felt... Like I was trying to get through to him again. I lost her too, Dad. I need you here the most. Wait, I needed you there the most. But you shut me out. Shake it off. No, I'm not going to let that bother me. Not right now. I need to do something to get my mind off everything. What should I do? Talk to Karina. Library. Apologize to Zack. Oh. Um, who's in the library? Oh, yo, what should I do? Um, let's talk to Karina. Ha. Huh. I don't even know what I stuffed in my backpack. I was in too much of a hurry to get out of there to care. I stand up and brush my pants off. Who knows what kinds of mud people have been... Who knows what kinds of mud pe... Mud people. Who knows what kinds of mud people have been leaving as they climb these steps? Yeah, okay, Homelander. Looking out the window in the stairwell, I can see the sun is starting to set on the screen. Starting to start on the ocean, giving the campus a pretty orange hue. Karina should be back in her dorm room by now, right? Well, it doesn't hurt to swing back, back by and check. I could really use someone to talk to right now. I make, my, I make my way down to Karina's room on the second floor. The sound of roommates mingling in each room echo out to the hall. I feel a tinge of regret in the pit of my stomach. The door opens slightly, allowing me to see the chain that, ke that keeps the out unwanted guests. Who is it? I'm greeted by a southern accent. Shay, it's uh, Ben Rivers from this morning. Is Karina available? Of course! Karina, it's for you! Huh? I hear her footsteps as she approaches the door. I take a step back to give her some space. Hello? Hey, Karina. Ben! She grabs me into a sudden hug. Ah, it's good to see you too! Come inside if you'd like. Oh, I don't think... Make yourself at home, Ben. Shay peeks over Karina's shoulders and chimes in. Looks like, looks like they're getting along better. The girls practically drag me into the room. Take a seat. <laughs> eh, what? Karina pulls out her desk chair and sits me down on it. Ben, have you ever had authentic southern mashed sweet potatoes? Yeah, I'll be right back. Give me a second. Hey, y'all. Sorry about that. I'm back now. Let's go ahead and jump right back in, shall we? Alrighty. Okay. Ben, have you ever had authentic southern mashed sweet potatoes? Authentic sweet mashed potatoes? Oh, what? I stutter as Shay pulls out a bowl and a spoon. What's going on? Oh, yo, I, if there's like any kind of weird sound difference, I apologize. I'm actually standing above the mic right now. I've got some like cream that I've like rubbed like onto my uh, like rubbed onto my skin. I'm letting it settle, so I'm not gonna sit right now. I'm gonna stand. I had to I had to try it earlier. Now so do you. What? Sweetie, you're about to get a taste of home cooked Southern comfort. Just humor her, okay? Shay swoops in with a spoonful of her concoction. Open wide! My eyes fall on Karina, pleading desperately to let me go. Say ah! Ah! That's the opportunity Shay needed to kick the spoon into my... To, 
Stick the spoon into my mouth. Mmm! Oh. Must be good. The savory sweet flavor washes over my taste buds. I can sense a bit of cinnamon, butter, and is... Is that maple syrup? How is that? Um, I'm sorry. <clears throat> How is that? It's, that's delicious. What the heck? Shay stands proud with the bowl in her arms. My grandmother's mother's mother's recipe. It's a winter's family tradition. I'm so pleased you like it, Ben. How did you manage to make that? There's actually a kitchen on the first floor for students. Wait, really? Yep, I was... <clears throat> Keep doing the southern voice. Yep, I was shocked when I found out, too. There's also a lounge down there for students to hang out with each other. I wonder why we didn't go to all... Uh, what wonder why we didn't get a tour of the building along with everything else during the orientation. Who knows? Karina and I went grocery shopping up the street. I can't wait to cook some more things and share them with our neighbors. Keep it up and you'll be the queen of the hall. I notice Karina's eyes briefly roll while Shay's looking in the other direction. Oh, Karina, don't put such ideas in my head. She opens up the mini fridge beneath her bed and puts away the bowl. So, what's up, Ben? Oh, uh... Shay pulls out her own chair and sits down while Karina lays on her bed, facing me. I... Hmm. I wanted to talk to Karina, but it doesn't seem like Shay's catching the hint. She looks at me with a smile and holds her hands together in her lap. I wanted uh, to ask if you would like to head down to the fitness center and work out? I spit out the first thing that comes to mind that most likely not offends Shay. Right now? Yeah! That's very bold of you, Ben. I was expecting you to be the one to, I was expecting you to be the one to make the offer first. Ah, it's gonna be just like old times. That sounds like fun. Ben and I used to be on the track team when I went to school when we went to school together in Colorado. I think I remember you mentioning that earlier. Mind if I tag along? Not at a Ugh. I caught completely off guard by that. That'd be pretty cool, Shay. You don't strike me as a working out type though. How do you think I maintain this figure, doll? She flutters her eyes at Karina. Oof, she ain't gonna like that. Preach it, girl. My eyes widen. Who are you and what have you done with Karina? How did this get so far off the rails? Great. Let me wash up before we go. Take your time. We'll meet you there. Come on, Ben. Let's get going. She leaves from her bed and starts pushing me out the room. Why? I'm charging into my workout clothes. Changing into my workout clothes. I'll be right out. The door slams behind me. I kind of wish I brought a change of clothes for this, but it was a spur-of-the-moment thing. Shit, I don't want to get back upstairs to change either. Guess I'll just have to deal with it. Karina and I leave the dorm building and step out onto the path cutting through the field. Oh, nice workout clothes, girl. So, uh... Hmm? You and Shay seem to have hit it off. What? Hell no, I hate her fucking guts! Howdy, I'm Shay and I'm so pretty. She starts talking in a mocking imitation of Shay's voice. I'm such a good cook and everyone loves me. I'm so perfect all the time and this body just comes natural to me. She whips her hair, she whips her hair side to side. Don't you wish you had blonde hair like me, Karina? I hate her. Yeesh, she's practically frothing at the mouth. Wait, I'm confused. Why did you let her come with us, then? So I can show her how it's done. I'm gonna work out so hard, there's no way she'll be able to keep up with me. Aha. Uh -huh. I fall silent as we walk together towards the fitness center. This is some girl thing, right? Anyway, why didn't you change into something more practical? See, that's the thing. I kind of wanted to talk to you alone, but it, I didn't want to hurt Shay's feelings. Oh. Realization finally dawns on her. What happened? Uh, well... I rub my forehead, my, doing my best to focus. Zack and I kind of had an argument. I think I overreacted, but he reminded me exactly of how Dad was. What was the argument about? I shake my head and frown. It was something stupid, but I blew it out of proportion. I snuck into the room so I could listen to him play guitar. I guess I scared him when I, when, I guess I scared him when I clapped after he finished, since he dropped the guitar and scratched it. I see. I'm guessing he got upset and you yelled at him. Yeah. I let out a long sigh. I was looking forward to talking to him since I hadn't seen him at all today, but I guess that wasn't going to happen in the end. I wouldn't worry too much about it. Just apologize later and try to move on. You think that'll be enough? She shrugs her shoulders. What more can you do? I know she's right, but I just have this gut feeling he's not going to be very receptive. 
He already shuts me out as it is. Ah. <sighs> well, I hope working out manages to get my mind off it for now. Girl, you look good in them workout clothes. Them hips though. <laughs> when we arrive, we check in the front desk before exploring the facility. Right away, I'm amazed at how much equipment they're able to pack in such a relatively small space. There's a central area with assorted treadmills and workout stations, several side rooms that house more specialized equipment, even a second floor with space for more treadmills and weight training. Not bad, not bad at all. I can see myself using most of the stuff here. Yeah, it's got a lot to work work with, that's for sure. The two of us head, upsta head up the stairs. I know that there aren't a whole lot of students here tonight, probably because it's the day before classes start. I'm sure it'll be packed as the school year picks up. Mm, what is this? What are you? That's not too bad. Okay. What do you want to start on? I smile at her and drop my backpack next to the treadmill. Something nostalgic. She smirks back at me and takes a neighboring one. Is that a challenge, Rivers? Maybe? <laughs> oh, you're so going down. Whoever lasts the longest wins. You're on. We jump into the, onto the machine to set the parameters for our competition. Three... Two, one, go! Oh lord. Ha! Ha! I struggle to catch my breath after running for a straight half hour. You giving up, any boy? I jump off the side and turn the treadmill off. Ha! I take one last breath and nearly fall to my knees. Oh god, I'm out of shape! <laughs> she continues to run in spite of my predicament. As if I'm lifting myself back onto my feet, I look out the glass window in front of me and see the football team is making their way here. Huh. Huh. I wonder if Brian's going to be here for a bit. I'm going to pause it right there. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell. Leave a super thanks or a tip if you can. It always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.